A day at the park filled with enthusiasm for learning and playing. It has a strong smell. This is the Iron Kids Iron Minds and Iron Bodies Enrichment Program in Southern California, something known as a micro school. Our hearts are in it also for our community and to really help the kids at an emotional level because they're just inside all the time and that's just, we know that's not good. Monica has a degree in exercise physiology. Co-owner Abby Edwards Hill is an eighth grade teacher. They formed their after school program a month ago and already have 30 kids and a waiting list. You have to remember many of these kids have not been in any organized program for almost six months. So for them, it, it's almost like starting fresh. So it's really cool to see them come out of their oh, shells. Yeah. The micro school was able to get up and running quickly with the help of Wonder School, a software platform that handles everything from the enrollment process to payments and curriculum access. Wonder School CEO says he's seen an increase in micro schools being used to enhance traditional learning and also as a substitute for regular schooling. If you're getting everything you can from a micro school, why be enrolled in the public school system still? And I think that this is a question that as policy um, for policymakers and for school districts to really be thinking about because there's an opportunity to fund micro schools with public dollars. Most experts refer to micro schooling as a teacher led initiative to run educational programs for children. But there's also an emerging trend called pods. These are typically family driven initiatives where the emphasis is on finding the right group. I think it is really useful and a great way to um, support like my mental health. Mona, a mother of three, connected with another mother and her child to form a play pod on the site Care Village, which puts together seven different types of care pods. We were basically just blown away by the initial response to the idea. Software engineer Eileen Vandergas and her husband Michael Beckman, a former ride-sharing industry executive, started Care Village to solve the problems of parents much like themselves. Having launched several weeks ago, they already have more than a thousand members. Parents are either going within the network they already have or they're going on a Facebook group and they're sort of yelling into the wind, hey, does anyone want a pod, right? But trying to find that perfect family that has the same age children and they're within a couple blocks and they're taking COVID at a serious level of seriousness. And so trying to solve that without technology is really, really hard on parents. Care Village uses an algorithm to find the best match and then let parents make the choice. For now, the service is free with the founders believing a growing network of supportive families is the best way to create value for both their business and the community. Mark New CGTN, San Francisco.